Obviously, it's difficult to get a photo of anything that's in the sky with your cell phone when you don't know where it is. I was walking in the woods with my family and there was a porcupine up in the tree. And then my- I didn't know they climbed trees. They climbed trees? Oh, that's dangerous. And we said, whoa, wow, whoa, whoa. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Firstly, we're just startled. But I don't think porcupines climb trees, but go on. Okay. Anyway, there was a porcupine in the tree and it didn't occur to any of us to take out our phones and further, like five seconds later or 10 seconds later, it's just gone. And that's a porcupine. So it's hard. Yeah. The science is hard. Secondly, even when there are images- Whatever it is, it's easier than detecting the gravitational wave from colliding black holes. Eyewitness testimony gathered that's consistent says, this is excellent. Now we need to bring the methods and tools of science to investigate this. That's which what would include pulling your damn smartphone out and not being shocked at the porcupine in the tree, which might not have even been a porcupine because I didn't know porcupines climb trees. You might've been seeing something else. I thought it was a porcupine. Well, how would a, the porcupine climb? Really? They got stubby little legs. How are they going to climb a tree? Yes, they regularly climb trees in search uh, of food. That's new to me. So take that it's new to you. Like, oh, that's great. That's like, that's hey, great. I don't know it. Therefore it's not true. I didn't say that. 